What if I told you that you didn't need to do the inspection? Let's start with a simple question. Why would you need DPI? The predominant school of thought told you that you need it for OT asset discovery and also for detecting cyber attacks in network traffic. Both propositions are false. You don't need deep packet inspection for asset discovery because active probing as implemented in the OT-based OT asset management system yields much more accurate results. I won't go into detail about this topic here because you will find other videos on our channel where active probing is covered in depth. What might be more interesting and what I'm going to focus on in this video is that you don't need DPI for spotting potentially illegitimate network traffic either because metadata about data connections achieve the same thing and much more efficiently. Obviously, it makes a lot of sense to inspect network traffic because this can help us to identify insecure or outright illegitimate communications. The point is, you don't need DPI for this. Metadata on connections is good enough. We can obtain such metadata from network switches that support either the NetFlow or SFlow protocol. If you haven't been exposed to these protocols before, here is a brief intro. Uh, but, uh, you know, NetFlow, many of you have probably heard the analogy of the, the old cell phone bill records that we used to get that showed us the, the call information, right? I could see who talked to who, I could see what it, uh, how long or the duration of the phone call, but I couldn't see what is said, right? I don't know what the exact conversation was, I just know what devices are talking to each other, that's NetFlow. Um, the ability to do this everywhere, right? When Cisco originally developed it, it was primarily a router function. It's now in the, our entire portfolio and in many devices that are out on the market. Uh, support the functionality. And so the ability to do it in switching and routing and firewalls and even in appliances that collect raw traffic and then generate NetFlow records as a result. Um, and we'll talk about some of that as well. Uh, NetFlow is going to give me the ability to see both north and south. Uh, or if you imagine your laptop accessing an application in the data center or in the cloud, or somebody else's data center, um, that's north-south. Um, or the ability to, to see devices that are communicating directly to each other, east-west. In industrial environments, most of our traffic is east-west. Right? Technically, the benefit of NetFlow and SFlow is that no real-time processing needs to be performed by the collector. Therefore, no dedicated network appliance is required to obtain flow data. The OT-based asset discovery software accepts this data from the switch and pushes it to the OT-based asset center, where it gets consolidated and made easily accessible in the form of automatically generated data flow diagrams. The diagrams that you see here didn't require any manual editing. They clearly divide the network traffic in local subnet communication, communication with endpoints in other private subnets, and communication with public IP addresses. Data flow diagrams are provided for individual endpoints as well as for whole networks. Note that traffic can be filtered by protocol name or port number. All this doesn't require deep packet inspection, span ports and network appliances. Now that we have seen the feasibility of advanced data flow analysis without deep packet inspection, let's consider the bigger implications. Do you really need to analyze the content of network traffic in order to spot something fishy? Well, not according to the National Security Agency. Guess what? The spy masters of the universe have abandoned content analysis a long time ago in the favor of metadata analysis, which is basically the same thing as data flow. Listen to the following excerpts from a debate at Johns Hopkins University. You know, I, I, I take my cue from uh, a former general counsel of the NSA, Stuart Baker, who said on this question, metadata absolutely tells you everything about somebody's life. If you have enough metadata, you don't really need content. If you have enough metadata, you don't really need content. Well, if that isn't a bold statement. 
But guess what? Former NSA Director General Michael Hayden even goes further. Yeah. First, first of all, David's description of what you can do with metadata and quoting a mutual friend, Stuart Baker, is absolutely correct. Okay? We kill people based on metadata. The general was metaphorical here as he refers to the drone strike program under the Obama administration. It sure does appear that they weren't concerned much about false positives, right? <laughs> anyway, here is the takeaway. Metadata is hard facts, whereas content is subject to interpretation. Somebody discussing terrorism doesn't make him a terrorist. Observing somebody talking to a known terrorist, on the other hand, might put that person in the crosshairs. Something similar applies to network traffic analysis. If you see that a specific endpoint, such as a safety PLC, is communicating with a computer that is not supposed to, the, to connect to the PLC, you know that there is a problem without having to check the specific content of the communication. Data flow yields simple and actionable hard facts without the help of costly analysts, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and threat intelligence. That doesn't mean DPI would be useless, but it does mean that for large-scale everyday use in OT security, there is a much better and much cheaper alternative. And that's what we use in the OT-based OT asset management software. 